Hey sweeties, how are you doing? Welcome to Naya Sim. If this is your first time of seeing me, please kindly smash that subscribe button and turn your notification so you are notified each time I upload. And please give this video a thumb up. I appreciate you all so much. Thank you so much for the love, the support, and to my members, you all are super sweet. So today we'll be talking something very important, and it's about how they are trying to link black people into what is going on in Israel and how black people are supporting Palestinians. So they are saying black people, black lives matter, supports uh Hamas, which black people do not have anything to do with that. The only thing black people are raising their voice to is let Israel cease fire and stop what is going on in Palestine. Like I keep saying, it is horrible how people want to defend how uh, uh, the kids that are dying, the hospital, the, the hospital bombing that they did, and they are, were like, how, "How are you people dragging black people into it? How? Because you all do not see Palestinians as humans. This is how they have treated black people all these years." and call black people savages call black people all sorts of names and all that people are waking up to understand that uh, it wasn't really all about all the things you all were lying about and all that because all these things media has been pushing out so many horrible things about black people and now they are looking for a way to drag black people into it do they see Palestinians as humans of course not they do not see them as humans because oppressors will always come out to say one thing and all that and let the media push what they like to push out. And now all I heard is that they are paying even medias to say that black people are supporting Hamas. Yes. Like I will, I will keep saying this. We got nothing to talk about when it comes to Hamas. What we are saying is let Palestinians be. And now you all think Yo, black people are supporting them and you all are supporting terrorist group. Like, make this make sense because the math ain't mathing. I am going to roll this clip. We'll come back to talk about it. Let me know what you all think in the comments. So straight up, let's get into it. Of the Baptist uh, uh, hospital as we speak right now, one third of those 3,500 were children. So my question to Ben Shapiro is, how many more son of bitches do we need to kill so Ben Shapiro is happy? Okay, because it changes from what he just told me that from what I believe that the way that you stop terrorism is with wildly disproportionate response. That doesn't mean in terms of targeting civilians, it means in terms of killing as many terrorists as humanly possible and allowing them to dictate the terms of engagement by hiding behind civilians in areas that, that they're supposedly responsible for means that the only option for Israel is to surrender to Hamas's hatred of its own citizens, its willingness to use its own children as human shields. Substantively different to what you said he said, right? He's talking there but, but specifically I, 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 about I, I, Hamas I agree terrorists. With it. I the hypocrisy in Piers Morgan's attempt to defend Ben Shapiro and say, oh, he's not talking about Palestinian civilians. He's talking strictly about Hamas. But anybody that says free Palestine and stop unaliving Palestine civilians, we are called terrorist sympathizers. Pro-Israel, pro-Palestine. Why do you think people try to justify these attacks and people losing their lives? <clears throat> well, look, we should talk about that because... There have been rallies here in the U.S. that are pro-Hamas, like the black, the BLM chapter. There is not one video, not one article, not one tweet of a black person saying that they are pro-Hamas. It's very hypocritical to think that you are the only ones who can identify a terrorist group as Hamas. And then not be able to say, oh, these people are not supporting Hamas. They're supporting the life of Palestinian civilians. And you intentionally try to blur the two and make them synonymous. Special place in hell for you. Mm -hmm. So I like and I'm someone who stood up and said Black Lives Matter. I said it on your show. Like, I believe in these. I think like, why are we even talking about these are basic principles that like, of course, all lives are created equal. Of course, there is systemic discrimination against black Americans. And if you don't understand that, you're not looking at the data and you're like divorced from reality. But pushing for equality and justice for black people, pushing for, you know, reform of a criminal, like an incarceration industrial complex, pushing for, you know, the ability of every American to have access to vote however they want has nothing to do, no relationship whatsoever to, again, the savagery that we saw in Israel. And the people who conflate the two, who say, well, this is what decolonization looks like. 
Like, again, I'm sorry, but the level of moral degeneracy there is off the fucking charts. Mm -hmm. Excuse my language. And, and so that's like I'm it's having okay a big curse at the time. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's, it's okay, okay to, to curse at the time like this. Okay. <laughs> so I'm having a big problem with this. Maybe you guys can help me. Like I can't, I can't stand up there and say I support Black Lives Matter when they support the genocide of Jews. It's spreading that harmful rhetoric right there. Black people do not support the genocide of Jewish people at all. It's the most fair, the most humane thing that is possible, and that right now is a ceasefire. That right now is a return of all hostages. I'm talking about Hamas now, right? Mm -hmm. a, a return of all hostages from Hamas. It's, it's, it's stopping all violence, right? And it's coming up with a political solution that allows Palestinians to stay in their home. It is not yelling out, as, as, as uh, members of uh, the Israeli government have said, we're going to shrink the size of Gaza because you can't, you can't start a war with Israel and, and leave with, with the same amount of land that you started with. Taking land by force is a violation of international law. Mm -hmm. Occupy, occupying land since 1967, violation, right? I mean, all, everything here is a violation. 18 human rights organizations, before all this started, agreed, including Israeli human rights organizations like Beth Selim, agreed that Israel is an apartheid state. And it's been an apartheid state. So somehow the global community standing up and being outraged at what happened in Israel, that makes sense to me. But what doesn't make sense to me is how we weren't outraged the day before when these things were happening to Palestinian people. And for the last 75 years, they've been happening to Palestinian people. And it doesn't make sense to me why right now we're not equally disgusted that over 700, at this point, I think it's even 800 Palestinian children have been killed in the last week. We changed the whole world for Ukraine. And Russia killed about 450 of those children over the course of a whole year. We should be outraged at Biden's response. We should be outraged by many members of the U.S. Congress's response. We should be outraged by lots of people. Again, you should have been outraged when those innocent Israeli children were killed. Their lives are worth something. They're worth the same as Palestinians because their lives are worth something. All of our lives are worth something, right? But the outrage can't just be for Israeli kids. They got to be for kids in, in Palestine. They got to be for kids in Armenia. They got to be for kids in China. I mean, everywhere. In Africa, but in this issue, it got to be for everybody on the table. You, you, you know what it is? It's the language that we use. They they use a language of, even when Jonathan was talking respect, uh, respectfully, they, there was a way that we start to talk about, this is barbaric, right? When you start using words like barbaric, when you start to frame people as subhuman or inhuman, that is a deep problem. Now, Jonathan uh, Goldblatt, Greenblatt. Greenblatt, excuse Greenblatt. me. Jonathan Greenblatt rightly pointed out that there's a long history, he alluded to, there's a long history of Jewish people being constructed as subhuman and as animals, right? Mm -hmm. It's a disgusting anti-Semitic trope that helped animate the forces of the Holocaust. Mm -hmm. We don't want to ever go back there, but we also don't want to transfer that to Palestinian people or to Arabs. Mm -hmm. And when you start calling them barbarians, when you start hearing these uh, extraordinary and to some of them unsubstantiated point uh, claims about babies being beheaded what it does is it creates a kind of outrage at arabs and at palestinians and at brown people more broadly mm -hmm. that then makes barbaric responses seem justified right we can't think like that palestinian lives are worth just as much as israeli lives and until we recognize that and own that in policy then we're going to continue to see the kind of force that we're using and that's why i don't like this narrative of those animals those barbarians mm -hmm. those uncivilized people no, they're civilized people who can be engaged through diplomacy, through through politics, through legal solutions, just like everybody. Can be engaged through diplomacy, through through politics, through legal solutions, just like everybody. And I just want to add my two cents in on this before I end this video. The reason I believe that they are blur blurring the lines and viewing Palestinians as Hamas is that um, it helps to further dehumanize Palestinians. Instead of differentiating the two, Hamas and Palestinians, and calling them all Hamas, it dehumanizes Palestinians and has the world thinking that Palestinians are terrorists. Saying terms like uh, barbarians and savages, that further dehumanizes Palestinians. Hell. It's the same type of process that they do here to black Americans in the United States. They call black Americans, they call us thugs, they call us savages. They basically say that we are undeserving, right? And that all falls in line with dehumanizing black folks. 
So this is why when they're talking about Palestine and Hamas and the conflict that's going on with Israel, they often pull black people and Black Lives Matter into the conversation. Why? Because we're all barbarians, we're all savages, and we're not worthy to be humanized or be viewed as humans. And the more that they dehumanize us, the more that we aren't seen as humans, as kind, gentle, loving people deserving of life, the more that we aren't seen that way, it makes it easier for them to accept us being snuffed out. I said what I said. Yes, 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 he did. CNN fired him because of a speech that he was giving. Hold on, let me find it. Y'all know I like to give a source when I can. So, here is a source. You can go over to um, NBC News and read this article. He was a professor at one of the prestigious universities. And he was giving a speech. And during that speech, he was encouraging other countries to divest from Israel. Why? Because of Israel's policies towards Gaza and the Palestinian people. He got a bunch of backlash. Why? Because if you're not speaking for Israel, anything that you say is considered anti-Semitic. So he was fired from CNN. Probably was the best thing for him because he's um, done nothing but rise since that time. After he was fired or after he started receiving the backlash, I found his tweet. Yesterday, I gave a speech at the UN in which I critiqued Israel's policies and practices towards Palestinians. It's baffling how people are not responding to the, to the critique, but instead responding to things I didn't actually say. And isn't it ironic how they rose up to get that man fired from his job, and here we are now learning everything that he was trying to teach in that speech. We are all learning about how Israel has been oppressing the Palestinians. And I say Palestinians. We are in support of Palestinians. Palestinians are not Hamas. And if me standing in support of an oppressed people of Palestinians innocent people, if that causes anybody out there to view me as anti-Semitic, then so be it. So this is all I got from the video and trust me, these people really know what they are doing and they are trying to push another agenda, especially on black people. Because right now as it stands, they are trying to drag black people into it because they see a lot of black people are, are for Palestinians and they are rendering their voices for them. Now they want to say that most black people are anti Semitic and all that. See, like I keep saying, it takes nothing for you to understand that what Israel is doing is against against human they are doing horrible things and if you sit back and support israel it means you are not human they are oppressing palestinians and then they are turning back to tell people that they are the ones being oppressed you can imagine somebody slapping you and turning Back to say that you are the one that slapped him so people are as it stands people are waking up to understand that they are the ones oppressing palestinians and that should stop whatever they are trying to drag black lives matter into this black lives life black lives matter does not have anything to do with hamad what we are saying is that free Palestinians, let them be, 
Let them do what they let them be what they want to be. You cannot keep oppressing people from beginning to the end of time. You took away their things, you want to be in charge of everything, you do not want them to have their rights and all that. It is only a colonizer that can do something like this. And you all have so many things in common. Watch all of them. That's why also the people supporting them are also oppressors. So now they are looking for a way to drag black people into it. Not just into it, the bad side of it. And I want you all to know that the bad side you all are dragging this into. We got now into, that is not our problem. We are not supposed to supporting Hamas. What we are saying is ceasefire. Stop whatever you all are doing in Palestine. Let them live their normal life. Stop oppressing them. Stop killing them. You all bombed the hospital in Gaza and you all are about to turn around and say that it is Palestinians that did it. And Joe Biden is out there lying. Man, I really don't wonder. I don't know how these people sleep at night. That is, um, I don't know how they sleep at night. See you all in my next video. Bye for now.